Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing you another action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the McFarlane Mortal Kombat Scorpion vs. Raiden 2 pack. I believe this was an Amazon exclusive and it is a paint variant. And I really think they look great. These guys look badass. I like Scorpion's dark repaint. I know it's not his signature yellow outfit, but I almost like it better. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. Pretty big open window box. Scorpion Blackout, Mortal Kombat, Raiden, Uncompromising Defender. Not much more at the top, got the McFarlane logo. One side, you can see the two of them. Other side, two of them in a little bit different pose. At the bottom, there is a barcode in case that helps anybody, as well as a bunch of credits. And then on the back, here they are in Mortal Kombat. So no further ado, Let's open them up. All right, now that we got these figures out of the package, here they are with all their accessories laid out. They both come with a display stand. Scorpion comes with two swords and two sheaths that attach to his belt. And then Raiden comes with that giant staff. But before we look at the accessories, let's check out the actual figures. So both these guys look to be straight repaints off the original release. Scorpion here is sporting navy blue, gold, and yellow colors. It almost looks better than his regular release, but that's open for debate. He's got that gold mask or facial covering, as we called it in 2020. Those white eyes, that dark hood. He's got armor on his shoulder and on his wrists. Going further down, he looks good. Armored shin area. He's got those ninja sort of shoes on, where they little slip between the toes and are very silent. Overall, he's looking pretty good. Then we've got Raiden here. Of course, he has that signature giant hat. He's predominantly sporting navy blue and silver colors. Also a pretty armored look. So in this video, we'll check out each figure separately. We'll check out their accessories, height, and articulation. We'll compare them with the original releases of Scorpion and Raiden. Then we'll check them out compared to the entire McFarlane Mortal Kombat collection, and we'll check them out compared to some action figures from different various companies. So let's start off with Scorpion. So here's Scorpion. He comes with the two swords and sheaths, but he also comes with a display stand. This is a perfect black circle, pretty basic. It's got the McFarlane logo at the bottom. One peg for the peg holes on his feet. It's very thin, very basic. So here are his swords and sheaths. He's got two swords, one a little bit longer, one a little bit shorter. Nice gold and navy blue on the handle, matching the color scheme of this figure. You can see nice sculpting detail on the handle as well. The blade, fairly basic. The smaller one is pretty much exactly the same. And then his sheaths here, they're going to attach to the belt. Got a navy blue wrap around the black sheath and some gold highlights. Here he is with his two sheaths attached. There are some holes you can fit them into here and they attach pretty securely. Here he is holding his two swords. I must confess, these things are fairly delicate. Be careful how you handle them. On my initial release, I broke the handle off one of his swords. He simply fell from about a foot off the ground onto a carpeted floor. I was able to pull the sword out of his sheath and glue it together. But now, I feel like it's so delicate, I'm scared to even handle it. Here are his new swords, next to the original yellow releases. And here are his swords, tucked away into the sheaths. An accessory the Scorpion does not come with, that the single release came with, is Scorpion's signature hook. You can wrap this hook around his arm and have him pull somebody toward him. Here he is, pulling Raiden toward him with his hook. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both Scorpion and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to top, sitting at about 7.2 inches tall, which is going to translate to a little bit under 18.5 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here, of course it can rotate from side to side. Can look up and down just a little bit there. Shoulders on a ball joint, then go at about 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got a bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows below that. His wrist here, it has a ball, it can rotate, and then it's going to be hinged as well. 
It's got a ball joint at the base of its torso, can rotate around, can also go forward and back. His legs go out about this far, not a ball joint, but a similar type concept. They can swivel just the tiniest bit of the thigh. Go forward about that far, back about that much. Double jointed knees, they go back this far. And then his foot here, it's got a similar ball in his ankle. It can go up and down, it can rotate around, and it can tilt and rock if you want to mess with it enough and rotate the ball. Then he does have toe articulation as well. Here he is next to the original Scorpion release. Like I said before, there are absolutely no new sculpting parts. It's a straight repaint, but a good one at that. Now let's check him out with some other ninja type figures. Here he is with a couple of DC Direct Dark Archer, Merlin, or League of Shadows members from the TV show Arrow. Then here, next to a couple of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Gen Yu figures. And here, with a couple of DC Direct, Nightfall, Batman Mask of Tengu action figures. And next to a couple of Mafex, Ra's al Ghul, or League of Shadows members. Then, with a couple of Hasbro, Marvel Legends, Ronin figures. Now let's look at Raiden, and let's start off with his accessories. He does come with the same display base that Scorpion came with. Now let's look at his staff. This thing is very long, looks like a wooden base. It is cast in navy blue colors. It's got a little wrap at the top, and then what looks like sort of a gnarled up tree at the top there. Here he is, holding the staff. Here's his repainted staff, next to the original release. And an accessory that the single release came with, and the two-pack did not, are these energy blasts that come out of his hands. These are sort of red or orange. They're in a transparent plastic and they wrap around his arms. Here's Raiden, blasting Scorpion with some energy. And now that we've taken a pretty good look at both Raiden and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his hat, sitting at about 7.5 inches tall, which is going to translate to about 19 centimeters. And now let's look at his articulation. Starting with his head, it can rotate from side to side, can look up and down quite a bit. Shoulders on a ball joint, they go about 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. It's got a bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows below that. His wrist has a ball in it, can rotate, and it's going to be hinged as well. In his torso here, he's got a ball joint at the bottom, can rotate around, can also go forward and back. Legs go out about this far, not a ball joint, but a similar type idea. They can rotate at the top barely at all. Double jointed knees below that. And then his ankle here, it's got a ball goes up, down, it can rotate, can also tilt and rock, and he has toe articulation. Here's the new two-pack Raiden, next to the original single release Raiden. Like I guessed before, there are absolutely no new sculpting differences, it's a straight repaint. We went from the green and gold color to navy blue and silver. And here are the two of them, locked in, you guessed it, Mortal Kombat. Now let's check these guys out, compared with some other action figures. Starting off with some other Mortal Kombat figures. Here they are, next to the original versions of Scorpion and Raiden. Here's my entire McFarlane Mortal Kombat 11 collection. From left to right, we've got Spawn, Johnny Cage, the original Scorpion, the repaint Scorpion, the repaint Raiden, original Raiden, Katana, and Baraka. There are two figures I'm aware of that I'm missing and that is Sub-Zero and the GameStop exclusive Blue Sub-Zero. Really, really, really wish I could get a hold of the regular Sub-Zero, but I'm not paying that crazy price on the secondary market. There's also blade up repaints of four figures, and I should get those very soon. And now, let's check them out compared with some action figures from different various companies to see how they fit in both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix them with. Here they are with some of their McFarlane Toys Brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarlane Toys, all from different various video game properties, all 7 inch scale. Then, next is some more McFarlane Toys. 
And here they are, mixed with some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And, with some NECA figures. Then, next is some Mattel wrestling figures. And here they are, next is some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. Then, with some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And, next is some Mafex figures. Then, with some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here they are, next is some SH Figure Arts action figures. And finally, here they are with some Jazzwares Fortnite figures. So overall, these guys are pretty cool. Their accessories are nice, but it's unfortunate they don't come with the full amount of accessories the single releases came with. Their articulation is pretty good. Their sculpt is nice. Paint job is excellent. I will say, I think I might prefer the way these guys look to the original releases. They're both just very visually pleasing. If I were to rate these guys, I'd probably give the pack as a whole a 7 out of 10. It brings less accessories to the table, nothing really new, but I do like the repaints. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.